video finds you well well not the old truck sitting here in the warehouse and what we're fixing to do is get ready for the fall camping trips one of the things I'm doing is I'm taking the tonneau cover off today and I've got to do some resealing on it especially towards the back of the cab I noticed uh, one of the pieces of weather stripping is coming out and this thing's been on here for uh, four or five years now but you'll see that piece of weather stripping right there is squirting out of there. So we're gonna put new weather stripping on it thicker. Um, and then I'm gonna replace all the stripping on the bed rail itself. Um, the rest of it, the tailgate piece is in really good shape. I just replaced it not too long ago. And then while we're at it, I'm going to clean the bed out from where I did the uh, overlanding excursion because we're gonna do more of that. And we're also going to try to figure out what we can put between here and here to keep the dust from coming up. I think that's where our main problem is, is right in that area. So if we can figure that out, um, I think it'll knock down all the dust that comes up in the bed. And we'll be in good shape. So I got to get all this out of the truck. And then we got to get the tunnel cover off. Chase may be joining me here in a little while. I told him to sleep in, dude. You know, I've got this for the most part, but if you want to come up and hang out and help, that's cool. Uh, you know, I'll be up here. Part of the day, I want to try to get this done before it gets too stupid hot, because it's going to get stupid hot. You'll see how this is compressed down so far. And it's weird, because it's almost an uneven way it's doing. But that's all right we'll figure that out too but i mean it works for the most part and what i've got is like a double uh, like a b-roll uh looking stuff and as you can see the tailgate piece is in really good shape since i replaced it so and it's just part of it when you open and close these things a lot it does that so we're going to take it completely off the truck today it's just another uh type of clamp like this that's up here and allows you to remove it completely from the from the uh, truck itself so we'll get this off we'll get everything out of the bed and we'll sweep out the bed now i'm taking some stuff out for good um no longer going to haul firewood with me and you will find that out in another video what's going on at that point this table and that table are going to go away and I want roll top tables and because I just I, did, I just do. I want roll top tables because they'll compact down into a pa small package and I won't have that in the bed, these in the bed of the truck. While these are nice, you saw a uh, YouTuber meetup weekend, I melted it a little bit, so oops. So I wanna prevent that with a metal top uh, roll top table and i'm gonna get a small table to go in the tent too um, but yep we're gonna get this thing emptied we'll be back in a little bit okay guys we have discoveries <laughs> I like discoveries so the piece that's on the tonneau cover itself let me turn you around so the piece that's on the tonneau cover itself and this is the part that goes against the cap is actually in good shape uh this is coming off so i'm gonna go ahead and peel it off and put new down here the piece I'm seeing that's coming out is a piece that we put down a long time ago uh, to build this little lip up so that it was, you know, thicker. And that's the part that's peeling up, which is okay because I've got some uh, wider stuff to put down right up here. So that's what I'm going to do is I'll put it down and then leave this alone. But I'm going to go ahead and replace all of this here on the edges and um 
I've got, like I said, some double roll looking stuff. Let's see. Put me down here. Yeah, I think that's going to work really good. You'll see that it's a double roll. I'll get it out here in a minute and show you how it looks. It's like that, but it's double. So, anyway, and then this back piece here, I've got some of this, and then we'll roll that out, and it's as wide as the channel itself instead of having two strips. And uh, it hasn't been leaking, but just want to prevent it. Um, just want to prevent it from leaking. But uh, I'm going to take the firewood out from now, and... I'm going to leave it to tail in until I get home and then it's coming out for good and you'll see why soon. But we're going to get this off and I think what I'm going to do, I was just going to bream it out, but I may wash it out real good, pull this off and uh, gooby gone it or something of that nature. I forgot what I've got here. I think I've got something else here, but uh, pull this off and wipe it down real good and reapply some new stripping on it and reapply the side rails um they'll be golden if you've never seen the bev a nissan truck they have these rails in them depending on um your package you got this one came with it it also has the rails in the bed now what's really uncommon is on a used nissan titan is to find the bed rail covers and this this truck has a minute had a minute when i bought it um so anyway that rail system if i show you in the bed of chase's truck it doesn't even have the rail system in the sides or in the bed um so that's the difference between the trucks but his is also a newer model xd and he can buy them and put them in if he wanted to but he's good without them i think i couldn't figure out why i couldn't get the cover off at first and i forgot it had these on it which is good because that's what happened to the first cover uh, the bar up here failed and it loosened it up and it blew clean off the truck and landed in the highway one day and this keeps that from happening so good thing these are on there and I forgot they were there all right I'm gonna get this over here on the table get it rolled out and start working on cleaning the bed out may get the hose here at the shop and just spray it out out there in the parking lot let it dry in the sun for a little bit while I work on the tonneau. She looks kind of weird without the tonneau cover on it because it has had one on it since I've owned it. But uh, we're going to get the old hose pipe that has no squirter thing. So we're going to use the finger thing to make pressure and blow this stuff out. And then uh, let it dry here in the sun because the sun's just beating right down on top of me. And while it's drying, I can work on the tonneau. Once the tonneau is done, I can put it all back on and move on with life. So let's uh, let's get that tonneau, this bed washed out. Okay, I can't think of any better way than to get access excess water out of water out of my uh, truck bed than to go up this hill and let it roll out real quick. And uh, then we'll, um, well, let the sun do the rest. But I just thought we'd ride up here and see the, see the uh, progress of the buildings up here. We're up here, oh, there's a big rock. Oh, Lord, we're going to die. Oh, Jesus. Betsy, this thing's not full of drive. Huh. I'm getting ready to lay a pad for the new other building. So I got that building built over there. You can see it in the distance, and there's no one over there, and then this one will be right here. So that ought to have gotten the water out of the bed. So let's get back down here, let it dry with the sun. And uh, we'll get started on the tonneau cover itself. I started pulling some of that stuff off. Oh, we're going to rock climb real quick. Hang on, hang on. Everybody got seatbelts on? I hope you got seatbelts on. I'm going to rock climb a little bit. Oh, 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 Lord. That was a rough one. Anyway, all right, let's get down here and uh, let the sun do the rest, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. And I'll change batteries. Okay, 
So this kind of sucks because I'm having to get this stuff I put on there not too long ago, but it just has compressed down so much. I don't like the way it's done. So that's why I'm going with that double D-roll stuff. Another piece that fell off. Um, but I can go back with the goof off and clean this glue off that's on here. And then I can go back and lay my new stuff on both sides. And just got to do the back rail on the truck bed itself that other new foam and we'll be in business it's the bed's drying right now out in the sun and uh, I knew this part would be the tedious part so this will give bed time to dry real good and that paint will war uh, warm up where I've got to stick that new piece we'll be in good shape ought to be sealed up it was sealed up before I did this but I just didn't like how it was doing so I'm gonna get all this old stripping off we'll go over it with goof off and go from there so I'll be back in a little bit all right so me and Chase got her done it is locked down locked down good Remove this turned out really good matter of fact it's really almost too tight um, the, as you'll see the stripping I did right there it's a double strip right here and man she seals up tight I probably may have to loosen this one up a little bit to lock it down because that was a little too tight it's still a little too tight but that's what we wanted we're not going to you know not gonna have any leakage now shouldn't we do we got bigger problems but uh, the only thing I'm still trying to figure out is what to put here and me and Chase were looking at we need something that kind of sticks out and would be you know just right to close that hole there in the tailgate and then she ought to be sealed up but you hear how tight that thing shuts now so that's it for this video guys we we're just getting this thing ready for the fall like i said there's a couple two or three things coming out of there and being changed out for something else firewood's going away because i got something else for that so stay tuned i will show you that in the next video all right guys be prepared see ya